hello guys so i'm going to show you some few ways of how you can handle your calculations especially as a student and when you don't even have time to access a calculator or to access your laptop this is something that you can do on the go on your way to school on your way to class etc so we're going to use the wps office app which is available it is available on Play Store for the Android and the App Store for iPhone. So you're going to open the app. Sorry. The moment you open the app, it's supposed to look like this. So you click on this addition icon, click on spreadsheet, and then click to add a blank page. So what we are now, this is a sheet and this is sheet one. As you can see here, we have shoe have sheet 3 so we are going to work on sheet 1 and where we are right now now this is our workbook this is a workbook so we are going to click on this highlighted cell a cell with the intersection of a column and a row so for basic calculations like addition subtraction division and multiplication all you need to do is to come on this keyboard icon press that and we have the shortcut for the basic for the basic calculations here where we have f fx so we are going to click there and as you can see we have the signs over here so let's say we want to add 4 to 5 or 4 to 6 so 4 is in cell A1, B is in 6 is in cell B1. Each cell has its own unique name. So in order to find the summation, we're going to every calculation in the spreadsheet starts with an equal sign. So we are going to click on the equal sign. And then we want to add A1 to B1. So we will click on A1. Click the addition sign and click on B1 and click enter. And there you have your sum. The same goes for subtraction. Let's say we have 7 in A2 and we have 5 in B2. So what you're going to cut to do is come to the empty cell C2. And before doing any calculation, you need to highlight the cell on which you want your solution to appear. So ours will be cell C2. So remember the equal sign C2. Click on A7, on A2, sorry, and then subtract the subtraction sign, subtract B2, click enter. And there we have 2. The same goes for for multiplication. The sign for multiplication in spreadsheets is the asterisk, as you can see here. And this is the sign for division, this slash or stroke here. Yes, so some few things that you can learn. Now, as you have seen, let's on cell C2, let's subtract the answer. Let's subtract the answer on cell C2. Let me show you. We can subtract it. Actually, let's subtract everything. You can come here, subtract, re remove everything, not subtract everything. Let's say we want, we have several calculations that we need to do for summation, subtraction, division. Let's assume our homework or assignment here is on addition. So on cell A2, we have 6. On cell A2, we have 6. On cell B, and this is where we want our solution to appear. We also have five and we have your nine yes that will be enough so instead of doing the writing the formula in each and every cell what you can do is you can come and out of fill the formula on c1 which is summation and drag it down to c3 
So what you do is come here, you click on cell C1. Then you can see here there is a tab over here. We are going to click on fill. After clicking on fill, you see this arrow, the arrow pointing downward. You're going to click it and drag it up to cell C3. So we're going to drag it down. Oh, sorry. So we are going to drag it down up to cell C3. And as you can see, the summation formula has been out of field. The autofill is something that comes in very handy. It relieves someone of the mundane work of having to rewrite over and over the formulas. It actually works even for days of the week, for months of the year, for example. You can come here and write Monday. So you come here, you click on cell A5 or on where you've written Monday. You click there, click on fill. In whatever direction you want to autofill, if it's towards the right, you can just click on this arrow and then we drag it towards the side. And you, as you can see, we have the days of the week following each other. You can also come here, still click on fill. Let's come here. Oh, okay, let's come here actually on Tuesday. Click on fill. We can drag it down and as you can see the days of the weeks are following each other. So these are some of the basic few things that you need to know how to do, especially if it's your first time using spreadsheets. Don't worry, it's a process. WPS is an app that contains a lot of things and therefore you're going to learn as we continue. So yes, thank you.